going on nerd fam and welcome back to another nerd life video today is yugi wednesday and we're jumping into the yugioh duel links app all right here we go we're in the app now and we have the kc tournament going on right now i tried it once before off camera just like a couple days ago and i got my butt whooped so what i am going to do is use a key at the gate here and we're going to go ahead and face off against a new opponent that has been added to the gate here, which is Bandit Keith. A level 20 Bandit Keith here. Let's get it. And I did switch my deck too, by the way, guys. I'm not working with the water deck anymore. I'm actually working with the Alien Reptilian deck, which is a little bit, I wanna say it's a little bit, uh, it's, it's not as powerful as my water deck. It, it mainly consists of putting A counters on the opponent's monster and lowering their attack and defense every time they uh, attack an alien monster. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with Alien Shock Trooper here. I guess it's a good opportunity to show off my alien deck. Here we go. Okay. That's my strongest alien attack monster I have in my deck. Okay. You call me a punk, all right. All right, he's on the defense right now. Let's see what we have here. Draw phase, another alien gray. So, I'm gonna go ahead and set one of these guys down in face down defense position, and then have my alien attack that face down card there. Let's see what he has. Hologra, out of there, okay. He's safe for now. Huh. There's no monster for me to put the A counter on. Oh well. Draw phase. Okay. All right. Activate this card right here. During each of your standby phases, put one A counter on one face-up monster your opponent controls. So activate this right now. There we go. I will send out Alien Hypno in attack mode. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we can. Uh, Get a direct hit to his life points right now. Here we go. Battle phase. Let's do my alien shock trooper once again. Take the lead there. Brave Scizor. A thousand defense. He's out of there. Okay. Two direct hits to his to his life points right now. The first one, 1600. All right. And. My alien gray at 300. It's all right. He's gonna have 2,100 life points now. All right, so he's halfway down. Let's end our turn here. Okay. I'm not trying to get ahead of myself here because sometimes these guys have like cards up their sleeves or something, you know? Okay, draw phase. Oh, this is the first time I actually pulled this guy here. I added him to the deck. Cosmic Horror. Horror. Genkyo. All right. Uh, has to be a face-up card, so I can't do anything with that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this guy out now. Another one of those. Okay. Actually, he's still gonna be hanging on to to his life points. After I get done fulfilling this attack, he's gonna have like 300 life points left. One more attack. Yeah. Oh, 200 life points. Okay. Oh, and this. Yes. He must have a bad hand or something, right? It happens. Okay. Cool, cool. I didn't get to show you guys exactly how this deck works, but maybe next time. Let's see here. As soon as I get done with this duel, I'm going to go ahead and buy a pack of cards and hopes we can get a Spine Gilman to add to my water deck and maybe some more alien uh, monsters to add to this deck as well. There we go. Out of there. Too bad, so sad, buddy. Ooh. And that 
almost got us to level 35 there. Okay. Oh, we got Barrel Dragon. Look at that. Nostalgia right there. I remember back in the day I had a Barrel Dragon. It was all beat up, all scrunched up, but still holographic. And I still used it in duels. Amateur duels. Okay, let's head to the shop. Abyss Encounters. Th this pack of cards have water monsters and alien monsters like this one. The Alien Overlord. And this is what I'm trying to pull right here. Spine Gilman. I only have one in my water deck. In real life, I have three of these in my water deck. So I actually want to add three in dual links as well. There we go. Come on. Spine Gilman. Give me the Spine Gilman. Ooh, right off the bat. We got a pretty strong pull here. Damage vaccine max. I hate that word vaccine. Uh, when you take damage by a battle or by a card effect, gain life points equal to the damage you took. All right, awesome trap card there. Really new one right there. I never even encountered that one in real life. Aquamara meditation. Alien shock triple. Another alien shock triple. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's see. This one seems like a basic pack here. Plasma Ball, Flying Saucer, and another Alien Overlord. Okay. All right, here we go. Third pack. Kishki Mosk. I have him already. Not in my deck, though. Pandemonium Watch Bear. Okay, and oh, nice. Aqua Ritual Monster here. Okay. Moving on, three Karibos on this fourth deck here. Uh, bam! Pandemonium Watchbird again. Corrupt Cell A. Place one A counter on one place of monster on your opponent's side of the field. That's all it does, really. The, the, the magic card I use on the field was every uh, standby phase, so that's a lot better. And, ooh, another Aqua Ritual monster here. Never seen this one. Evigishki Levianima. I think I said that right. Okay, that's pretty cool. I wish you could trade some cards. You know, that would be cool if you could trade. There we go. Another Aquamir Illusion. Golden Flying Fish, huh? Four stars at 1700 attack and 1000 defense with an effect. You can tribute one other fish type monster to target one card on the field, destroy that target. Not bad. 100 footed horror. Wow. 2600 attack on this insect right here. Dang. Looks tough. Alright. And pack number six Sound of Retreat. Return all monsters you control to the hand. Oh, wow. Mookie Mookie King and Archfiend's Roar. Okay. Alright. For an Archfiend deck there. The seventh pack, come on, come on. What do we got here? Alien Kid, I already have, I think, two in my deck. Bonding DHO, Terror King Archfiend, some more Archfiends, all right. Moving on, eighth pack of cards here. <clears throat> Another Aqua Mirror. Mermaid Archer is a nice card to have in a water deck. Yeah. Another Archfiend, okay. Ninth pack here. Let's get this. Kishki Noelia. Okay. Got a water spellcaster here. Different dimension deep sea trench. Hmm. I guess. Archfiend General. Wow. A level 4 star monster here. 2100 attack. Okay. This card goes in conjunction with Pandemonium. Okay. And the final. Pack of cards here, guys. Can we get a Spine Gilman here? We got Yugi. I don't think so, guys. Interplanetary Tongue Twister there. Never seen this card. Elemental Hero, Captain Gold. Okay, I appreciate the artwork of this card. It looks nice, it looks cool. But I wanted that spine kill. Oh well. 
we'll have to give it a shot on the next video, guys. So there it is, guys. We started off on a good note, and we tried getting a Spine Gilman or a better alien card to add to our decks. That didn't work out for us either, and then we tried getting to level 35, and you've seen how that went. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, go ahead and drop your like. If you're new here, consider subscribing because I drop three videos just like this every week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So join the Nerd Fam. Let's get to 600 subscribers. And with that, I will see you in the next Nerd Life video. Honestly, I don't know who the fuck to trust. Is he my friend or my foe? I'm a ex bro. Yeah, she give me that. Maybe I was wrong. I remember back when I was younger, I was happy. Nowadays, feel like no one understands me.